All right, so on to the next training point. This is keeping the kids safe and happy. We want them to be both, right? So you're going to be taking a background check if you haven't done that. That's through Checker. It's gonna come through an email. You just have to fill that out and we'll take it from there. You're also gonna to have to take a sexual abuse awareness training and that is through Ministry Safe. There's a little test at the end to make sure that you are aware about signs to look for and to make sure you know the protocol of what to do if anything were to come up that made you uncomfortable in this um, situation. So also we have a tag system. When the kids get checked in, they should have a tag. As soon as they enter your classroom, it should already be on them. If they don't, tell the parent, you need to go check them in. And if they already have say, okay, they need to wear their tags. It'll have their name on it and who can pick them up. We do not allow the child to leave your classroom unless the adult picking them up has the exact matching tag as their child's tag. I don't care if you've known them. I don't, it doesn't matter. We want to make sure that everybody watching knows that our policies and procedures are foolproof. If a child has lost their tag or a parent has lost their tag, send the parent up to the front desk and we'll take care of it for you and let you know when they're safe to um, dismiss the child out of your classroom. We don't want anything to happen, right? Another rule to follow is always make sure you have two people with the child at all times. There's absolutely no reason why we should be alone with the child, um, whether we're babysitting or um, at the church or our any kids ministry on a Sunday morning. We just wanna make sure that we protect the child, that we protect you and that we protect one life and our ministry. We want it to be a great experience for everybody. And so keep that rule in mind. Also, only adult females are able to diaper a child or to go into the bathroom to help a child if they need it. A lot of our kids can go to the bathroom by themselves and they just need a reminder to wash their hands, right? So you can escort, everybody can escort a child to the bathroom and then wait for them outside of the bathroom door there in the hall. We have a great facility where there's three bathrooms right there, very easy to access and not have to go in. Um, okay, the other safety thing is health. Um, we give out band-aids and we can give out ice packs. That's about it. Other than that, above our pay grade, right? So we have a first responders team who's ready to come in if a child needs more than that. So you will just come contact the front desk, send somebody, an adult or a volunteer to the front desk saying, hey, we need medical and they'll come running. We know exactly where how to contact them. And so uh, we don't have to do anything beyond a Band-Aid or an ice pack. Yay. Okay, that's it for our safety notes.